I just stepped down here to film and there are some Canadian geese. I may have to try and scare them away. There's uh, three over there and two over here. They can be pretty mean, especially with some babies. <laughs> anyway, let's see if we can get to work. Welcome to Land the House. I'm Seth. I'm working with Langston's Alternative Power to test out a four inch micro hydro unit. So what happens, I've got this pond here occupied by a couple of Canadian geese. Water is siphoned up into this four inch pipe, comes along here, makes this four inch turbine spin. The water drops down into this bucket and the bucket is what helps maintain the siphon. And then we've got three phase right here coming out. And um, in the previous test, I found out that the power was about 18 watts. We're hoping for more. So I have to do a couple things to try and get more power. In this video, the first thing I'm gonna do, that's not gonna make more power, but it'll make my life a little easier. I'm gonna take this inch and a quarter pipe, stick it into my valve right there, so I can hopefully just use my vacuum cleaner to start the system up here and not have to walk down there. Uh, so that's gonna be just helpful for the testing. But what we're gonna do today to hopefully increase the power is step up from this four inch down pipe and put a six inch in there. So we're gonna do that. So the thought is, the, um, as the water goes through the four inch pipe, it then tries to fill the six inch pipe and causes a Venturi effect. And that should spin the turbine faster. So let's go ahead and give all of this a try. Okay, I want to remove this ball valve and put the pipe in its place. I meant to buy a 45, but I forgot, so here's a 90. I swapped it around. That might be a little easier to work with until I go get a 45 here to bring it more upright. Um, so anyway, let's go try it out. Okay, I've got my miniature shop back here. Let's see if it's easier to pull the siphon from up here. Nice, yep. It's going. Let me zoom down there so you can see. Water is coming out of the bucket. So if I were to uh, touch the turbine here, it should start going. Yep, there we go. Nice. All right, so that's gonna work out just fine as a uh, siphon start. The setup that we have now is producing about 18 watts. So what's gonna happen when we go from four inch to six inch? I think it's going to be a significant improvement in wattage. Also, we're going to be dropping down this much lower, so uh, that will also increase the downpipe. Okay, it's actually been three weeks since I have filmed out here. I had to go out of town and film a wedding, and then it rained seven inches last week, so uh, it's been quite a while, and I am happy to be back out here filming. So, I've got my stuff back out. Uh, I got rained out last time, and I think where we were is about to install the six inch down pipe here. So what I'm doing now, I've got the water flowing through the siphon to um, lower everything here so I won't get wet whenever I am repositioning everything down here. So what we're gonna do is add an additional six inch pipe onto the four inch pipe and that should hopefully increase our pull and speed of the turbine. So. I'm gonna go ahead and step down there real quick. We'll pull out the bucket and drop our whole system down on our little wooden structure to support 
that piece right there. All right, what I need to do is pull this bucket and bring all of this down, a little wooden structure here, so that my six inch pipe can fit onto this piece right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this bucket out of here. Okay. Go ahead and get this board off of here. We've got a few minutes before that water comes back over the top. All right, so got that board off. Didn't take much. Woohoo! So this thing, I'm guessing, is about two foot. So we're gonna have more power just because we're adding that extra two foot, but I'm hoping when it steps up to the six inch, we'll see a lot more power. I hope adding all this extra weight doesn't pull this out of the socket up here. If it does, we may have to figure something else out. Yeah, okay. So our bucket can almost rest down here on the rocks. We may try that. As beautiful as my wood structure is here. I can rearrange some rocks real quick. What do you think? Pretty good? All right, there's our new setup. So it is going from right here down into the bucket. So almost three more feet of head pressure. But you can see from right here down to there, I think we have another two foot of drop. So in the next test, instead of this piece here, we'll put a 45 right there to cock it over. It'll have a four inch pipe that goes down a bit and then step up to the six inch over here in the water. And that'll be our most drop potential. But for today, I think this right here will show us some nice results. All right, super exciting. Now that we have the six inch piece on this four inch turbine, I think we're gonna have the most power that we've seen so far. Before we hook this up and get a power reading, I want to shout out a YouTube channel that is also here in Western North Carolina. It is the Green Acre Homestead. They have this soap product, which is amazing. I've been using this now for about a year and uh, I just wanna shout them out. You should go check them out. If you like homesteading videos, with a family that works very well together, then you're gonna enjoy their channel. When I first met Sam and Angela, they had, I think like 500 subscribers, and I was the big channel at like, I don't know, 20, 30,000 followers. And so we met up and uh, we talked for a while, exchanged some YouTube ideas, and now they are uh, pretty much at 50,000. So if you head over there, subscribe, it would mean a lot to me and also uh, give them a shout out for the stuff that they're doing over there. All right, let's crank this up and see what kind of power we get. Just in case you're joining me for the first time here, I have a pond with thousands of gallons of water in it. I have a 90 degree four inch here, which goes to a four inch pipe. And there is a four inch turbine, which drops somewhere around six and a half to seven feet now into a six inch pipe down to a bucket. The bucket maintains the siphon that is pulled in here. In the previous test, without that um, uh, six inch, it was making 18 watts. So today we are anticipating somewhere above 18 watts. So here's the setup. I've got a 12 volt battery. We've got a little amp meter that will show the watts down here. And that's gonna be reading from the source. We've got a really cheap um, PMW charge controller, and that's just all it is right now. We have uh, a load we can put on it later, but we mostly just wanna see it charge this battery. So let's go ahead and get things started. And to start this system, I have moved the siphon up here, as you saw before, so I won't have to go up and down here over and over again. It is three phase coming in right here, which goes into this AC to DC rectifier and over here. 
Okay, that has the siphon started, but the turbine's not going yet, and it just takes a little touch. I can see it dancing, wanting to start. It's gonna pull all the air out of this long pipe here. Very nice. All right, whenever I touch this right here to that charge controller, it's gonna pull that down pretty quick. All right, that thing locks down pretty quick, doesn't it? Okay. Let's see what we got here on our charge controller. It had 30 watts there for a second. Now it's at 14.5. Interesting. I think I may still be hearing some air in here. Maybe it's pulling it in from right here. But uh, it's definitely spinning faster, I believe. So let's go ahead and hook up the multimeter and see if we can get a different reading than 45 volts, which is what we had previously. Uh, so we want to go here. Okay, yeah, 66 volts. So that's more than we had before, which was 45. So that is doing more, having that extra drop. But as soon as we throw that load on there, <laughs> I did see a 70 watt there, that was pretty cool. So 24, 23, 21, 19, 15. <laughs> the open circuit voltage is 66 volts instead of the 45 we had before, which is an improvement. I'm not sure if that's because of the six inch or if it's just because we added two more feet on the down pipe way down there. Um, but the watts are actually less. So we were hovering around the 17.8 to 18.9 or so, uh, if I recall correctly from the last time. Um, so there's one more thing we can do to improve this, and that's step up from 12 volts to 24 volt on the battery. And that way it will be able to make a higher wattage. So my neighbor actually has a battery that he's ready to get rid of. So I may get that from him and hook these up together and we should see an improvement on the watts at 24 volts. The reason I'm making all these tests is so that Langston Alternative Power knows how this small four inch turbine operates in a system like this. And the battery system needs to be 24 volts. And I just spoke with Spencer Langston and he said that the four inch pipe going down here can only pull so much water. And the six inch that we added down there isn't really helping. So I need to step up to six inch from right up here. Um, so that piece of pipe is going to be rather expensive. I think what I'm going to do is take out the six there and then 45 over to the pool. And that should give us the full amount of drop possible here. 
And with that, we hopefully will see the most power out of here. And I can also increase this up to 24 and we'll get even more that way. So that is the plan for the next video. If you've got some thoughts on what I just said, please leave those in the comments down below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. One thing good happened from this video. It sure is nice having the siphon point up here instead of having to walk all the way around every time to restart this thing. So it's an improvement. Some of uh, Spencer Langston's other installs have this kind of system right here coming up next to the turbine. And uh, that's what he had mentioned to do to save a lot of hassle. So if you're considering one of his turbines, he will probably suggest that to you as well to have your vacuum point right here at the turbine. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Also, remember to check out the Green Acre Homestead, link in the description down below, and also in the pinned comment, there'll be a link to their channel. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.